Today's game is brought to us by an old favorite, Pack and Snacks Dave. Uh, you might remember this guy for translating half of the Chinese Nintendo bootleg library. Well, today is no different. We've got no smoking. Of course, that's not its original name. Man, I can never get enough of that alien. Today's game is Lin Zishu, or more easily translated as No Smoking. The, the title won't make sense. Just give it a second. Yeah, bet you didn't expect to learn things on this channel. Well, you learn stuff all the time, but learn stuff that you would have learned in school. Ah, okay. Now we're getting to the game base. I was I was afraid for a little bit that we were gonna actually roleplay as a bureaucrat and actually kind of I don't know try to outlaw smoking. That would be hilarious though, and I kind of wish somebody would make a game like that. Then again, they did make a game that was all about help uh, creating a healthcare policy. Granted, that was a Will Wright game, but still. Okay, looks like we are in an RPG. You have full control over your character. Uh. Well, you can't freely punch. Yeah, uh, well, y how, how do you save? <laughs> okay, this is this is very mystifying, actually. Oh, in in no, okay. Well, okay. Just in case you were afraid that save was a uh, artifact that showed up only on that screen. Now, oh no, save is always that color. Okay, so I've been pressing all the buttons, and I can't save. Maybe if I press both of the... Anyway, let's talk to the guy up top, like we're supposed to. I think? <laughs> Businessmen must never harm the Chinese people. <laughs> A policy that, Chinese, that China still upholds to this day. All right, now we are tasked with our first task. We must go to the British Museum. Uh, of course, we're not given any sort of map or anything. I am trying to talk to this guy, but he is having none of it. Uh, okay, let's try talking to this guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, in terms of importance to the story, these people are basically scenery. But it brings me no end of joy to realize that these people are literally scenery, too. Like, they're not even sprites. There's not even a moment when your character goes behind them like you would expect in a, your regular, average, poorly coded RPG. No, this is a whole nother level. But I don't know why they would bother animating, like, an entire background layer. You know... They're probably using layers, and they probably have, like, the sprite be on a layer, and they just didn't want to bother coding, like, your character going through it. Which, I mean, makes sense. If I was a student trying to rush out, like, an, a Nintendo game, it's like, I wouldn't care about that sort of thing. Uh, well... Oh, okay. For a second there, I was gonna say, it's like, I wouldn't make anybody talk a bowl or two, but no. Dig it. Hey! Whoa! Oh. Okay. I thought for a second there, it was gonna tell me how to get to the next part. But no, no. This this is the kind of game where you have to work for your ending. Uh, hey, it's brother Long, <laughs> and there he goes with with nothing more said or done or anything. I don't even think you can talk to this. Oh, I I couldn't even talk to the fan guy. Like I thought I was, but no. No, no. Just some some people just. Like, like, at least the T guy had the decency to tell me to scram. This guy is just like, oh, oh back for more, huh? Y you want to talk to me still? No? Okay, I'm shocked. Somehow seeing the fish from a top-down view just... It's just weird. I don't know. I mean, granted, that's just like Legend of River King like normal, but... That really just wigs me out. Also, I guess the fact that the fish are, uh, pink... And the water is green. Takes a close second, but mostly that is. Hey, would you happen to know where I can score some opium? 
Well, oh, and I can't even make it to the market. Okay, I can make it to the market. Some, you know, some people make fun of RPGs as just being like endless fetch quests. You talk to one guy, he tells you to talk to the other one. And like, okay, maybe, maybe, but like, this game is just all of those and more. The thing I hate about these sort of Weiju Academy games is you never know, like, which is a real exit and which is a fake exit. Now, with this game, maybe it doesn't matter so much, but with that, uh, shooting, the, the wartime game, it's like, that, that mattered a bit more. Oh, this guy actually has answers. I'm shocked. East of the Tea House. Let me guess. It's only after I talk to this guy that I open up the route. Is that, is that what is happening here? Is that... Well, okay, uh, our guy has not learned the walk on water skill yet, give it time. Oh, and what do you know, a mysterious path Oh, I bet you still don't talk to me. This, this guy, he just walked from his screen over just, just to mess with me, not even say anything, just, just to mess with me. Oh, oh, heaven forbid I think you go up. No, it's to the side. It's like you guys could include some arrows or something. Is, is it just not part of Chinese culture to include arrows or something? Like, is that is that not a thing? Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, this looks like a museum. It also looks like an embassy or anything else. Tell me where your boss is. I... Oh my god. This, this guy, he is, uh... You are not like a secret agent, you are more like... You know, I feel like cops would have more subtlety here. We'll hide our fists in your face. Well, given the way things are going... Okay. Uh, fun, fun fact, you punch with B, A? I don't know. Uh, so pretty much combat, you, you just stand in one place and hope you get lucky. I wish I was exaggerating, but... And then he explodes. You know... I mean, you'd think there are moves, you can do directions, and your guy can change around, but really you just stand in one spot and, and just, just keep pressing that punch button. Now, I wonder if Pack the Next Dave snuck an invincibility cheat onto this game in the translation while I wasn't looking, but I'm gonna be honest, if- oh. Please, please have mercy, please don't make me explode like I saw you do to those three other guys. But yeah, if Packet Snacks Day snuck an invincibility cheat on this game, I am eternally grateful. Like, this this guy is a savior, then. Where is your boss at? Uh, east, I'd say. Oh, Hanjuo's mansion. Great! Now I get to ask everybody in town where that guy's mansion is. Not looking forward to it. Not looking forward to it. On the bright side, though, uh, you can't walk up to the top half of the screen, which, well, you'd think that would be evidence of shoddy programming. You'd think that would be something that would be annoying. But as it turns out, any sort of way to limit your options in this sort of game, a game that is notoriously vague about giving, like, letting you know what options are even at your disposal, that, I frankly, that's glad. I'm glad. It's, it's, it's something that I want. I want more restrictions in my games. You know... I almost think I'm not supposed to be here. But hey, it's an RPG, so we'll explore around. Hey, Brother Long. Now, I know I made fun of that guy initially, but uh, I'm actually kind of glad he's around, because it's like, okay, now I know I'm on the right path. Okay, I thought for sure this was the, the main temple that you started at. Yeah, by the way, the other place wasn't all that interesting, and uh, this place doesn't look like it either. Okay, so l l let's just run that by by it again. So I walk west here, and I walk up here. It works, so I'm not mad, but I'm I'm mildly displeased. Oh, the Kishin Garden, great. That might have been one of those two places I went to. Well, let's explore around. Hidden, hidden, 
Oh, this engine's got to be here somewhere. Well, you know, I thought I'd have to find it on my own, but it occurred to me that it's like, well, I, if I can't even read what character it is, it's like maybe I would have stumbled upon it. I don't even know. It's straight to the east of here. It's to the east of here. Everything is to the east of here. You want to get anywhere in this game? East, east, east. You want to go backwards? Gotta go west, west, west. Don't tell me. It's it's that place where we were. Oh. Okay, so that guy's uh, comments actually turned out to be relatively cryptic. How do you go east? Uh, well, you'd think that this would be the pathway, but no, that's a wall. Uh, this, that was a door, apparently, and also a change of perspective. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled bumbling around. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know what's funnier. The fact that she is referred to solely as girl, or the fact that her character just asks her straight up, do you know if there's a secret entrance here? <laughs> oh my god. I thought it would be harder, I thought you would have to at least look at it, but no, you just walk into the well. Uh, do we have punching activated? No. So, okay. Despite the scary music, this region is entirely safe. And... Just in case we were feeling a little lonely, uh, some guy comes and gives us some company. Again, I strongly suspect that we are invincible, but again, I am eternally grateful if that is the case. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa. Now we've upgraded into uh, beat em ups level two. You can now jump and kick. Uh, well, apparently, we can't save in this ever so dangerous location. I still don't know how to save in the first place, but uh, uh oh. We can still attack, so that means there's got to be another guy. And lo and behold, there is. Uh, interestingly, once you press kick, then you are like locked into that animation. I mean, that's not really a sacrifice to be made, but it, it's kind of interesting. Like, just the sort of programming... The things you take for granted in, I don't know, regularly programmed... Professionally programmed games, let's call them. That are sometimes lacking in these sort of student projects. It is kind of interesting, though, to watch them do this, because it's like, frankly... I think back then, when I was a student, it's like, I don't I don't know that I could have made an entire Nintendo game. Because the other thing, too, is like, it's more than just coding, although coding isn't part of it. You also have to make, like, the art assets and stuff. Now, I'm pretty sure this was, like, a group of, like, five kids or something. Maybe there was a dedicated, like, Nintendo game club. Maybe they made, like, one engine for all of them. And that's why they all kind of vaguely feel the same. If so, then, well, that's, that's a very smart way of doing things, and that would make sense. Oh, oh man, sparkly jewels, because I'm like, I, I think I'm supposed to be some sort of cop? And so, it's like, well, the bad guys aren't gonna bribe me, so I gotta earn treasure elsewhere. Yeah, I'm not even, why, why do the enemies even? I'm pretty sure the other thing is health, but why, why would they drop treasure? Maybe it's to, like, kind of give that sort of psychological good feeling to the player. Wow, this is... Could we just, like, skip this? Maybe you should, guys should stick to visual novels. That would actually be very entertaining, and not at all hard to play. Well, Chinese students at this university, 20 years in the past, probably 30. Ah, uh, if you can hear me, make more visual novels instead. Please, please stop making games where I have to actually play and do things. I would like to, uh, just select menu items. Also, also give us a map. Just, just please give us a map, or at least make it clear like wh where you can go and where you can't go. Ah, uh, thanks. Well, you can't punch, so we are entirely safe right now. And just like that, <laughs> suddenly <laughs> we are unsafe. Is that Chuck Norris? Anyway, it is kind of interesting, though. It's like a lot of RPGs, they just kind of spoil the suspense. They just, like, give you that sort of boss music. It's like, oh no, it's, it's enemies around. It's enemy time. But this game really sneaks up on you. It's like, they don't really enable that until the enemy is, like, right on sight. Which is interesting, because there are so many other things that this game is, like, a little bit lax on. But it's like, oh no, surprising you with enemies, we gotta get you there. 
And I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, you walk up north and it's... Oh. <laughs> of course he bull rushes you. Why would he not bull rush you? Oh my gosh. You know that guy's face in the lower right-hand corner who was in the bottom lower right-hand corner for the entire game? Evidently that was this guy. And we've, we've made it our life's mission to defeat him. Oh, mercy. Wait, he's not even the rat guy. Oh, okay, I thought that was like the end of the game game entirely. But no, that was just the end of the first act. Gee, I wonder who it is we're supposed to stop this time. Uh, let's see if this is any more interesting. Oh, please deliver the letter to the British Museum. Well, unfortunately, I know where to go. I even know where we are right now. We're not even in the regular temple. Watch. We'll walk down, and we'll be on the left end of the screen, and there will be the flower chick two streets down. Wow. I know the map of this game better than I know the map of my own neighborhood. And not for good reason, just, just because it's so hard to navigate. Uh, I was going to remark that the game has seems to have switched to nighttime. But now we're in a place that was always nighttime. I guess that's just what big cities and tall buildings do. So, eh, it's kind of interesting, but... Oh, this dapper chapper seems to have all... Really, he's he's dressed to the nines, wearing a bowler hat, and he's, he's got a Chinese name in the British Museum. It's like somehow, I think not. Oh, okay. It's... Uh, Of course, his name is Drug Dealer. Of course, his name is Drug Dealer. What was I expecting? Why Why is encyclical, like, continually misspelled? Like, I, I have to feel like it must have been misspelled in the original Chinese, and the guy's just doing it as, like, a subtle jab. That has to be the case. Yeah, watch out, watch out, he's on to you. Oh my gosh. Another person jumps on screen. Oh, whoa, 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 you thought the other guy was a big drug dealer. No, man, we got a guy that will entirely redefine your notion of big drug dealers. Look at him. People used to call him Little Slim Jim, but then he muscled out big fronds and became the biggest drug dealer around. Also, the guy on the... He kind of looks like the penguin. <laughs> uh. Oh, I guess he does have a name? Or maybe this is a different guy who looks exactly identical to him. Oh, man. Intrigue. I love these story-based games. They just kind of keep me playing. So, so where are we in all of this? Oh, okay. Now he's gonna tell us to, I don't know, go to the British, the Royal British Castle, and there's the Royal British Palace, and put an end to opium smuggling. And uh, after 27 screens, we'll probably actually get there. Never mind the fact that we... I, you know, it just strikes me that there is actually a land route from China to Britain. Well, it'll probably be a bit more than 27 screens long, but still. Oh... Go to the British Museum and bring justice. So we can't go to the actual British palace, but we can do the next best thing. Because apparently museums are the same as embassies. That's right, go out and meet some just... Start talking. <laughs> this guy looks a little bit out of it. Oh, never mind. Oh man, we get to go to a new place? Not, not likely. I am not betting any of my opium stash on that. Oh, what a helpful guy. He even told us where the fleet of bad guys were. And he's gone. And he's gone. Well, I can't say I was expecting that. But honestly, I was not expecting anything of this game. 
Well, okay, so we can't attack, so that means we're completely safe, right? Ah, uh, no. Oh, I thought for a second she was a monkey, and it's like, oh, monkeys as enemies. I mean, hey. Okay, there is definitely an invincibility patch, but I am definitely grateful. Pack and Snacks Dave, you know exactly what I want in these games. I, honestly, this has been the best one yet. I think the monkey one was... It, it was a pretty good platformer. The war one was interesting to see, like, a different perspective on World War II, but this game is definitely the best in terms of, like... You know, in terms of being a game that, like, one would actually play. I mean, it's not, like great gameplay, but like, the, the story is engaging, and the story is easy enough to get in, and it's surprisingly short. Like, we finished the first act in like, I don't know, 10 minutes? 20 minutes? Time time seems to stop whenever I boot up these games, but uh, uh... You know, if they really were trying to stop me, why wouldn't they try like, having five of her, and like, none of the other guys? Uh, huh. Well, I thought the screen would scroll a little bit faster from the right, but... <laughs> we, we punched a guy so hard, he flew across the screen, he flew across the world, and looped around at the other side. That's pretty great. Oh, interesting. So I guess I did manage to bug it out, because I got it to scroll at a different speed. You know, I'm starting to I'm starting to understand how Superman feels because it's like Superman is, for all intents and purposes, invincible. So all he does is just kind of stand in one place and just kind of punch people. It's like, oh, ba got a bad guy. Oh, just stand in one place and punch him. That's how Superman solves all his problems. And honestly, that's how I would solve all my problems in this game. Now, the women are a little bit too tricky, but the guys, nah, you just you stand there and punch them. Well. <laughs> I was going to complain that this was entirely unprecedented, but it actually kind of makes sense. And also check it. Parallax scrolling and palette swaps. Jeez. <laughs> if I did not know about jump kicking, I would be far more annoyed at this game than I am now. Uh, you can also see the uh, bad guys escaping on the ship in the background. Well, I say that like it just happened, but th that was actually a few seconds ago. Uh, okay, even though they went to the left, let's go to the right. Y you never know, there might just be a perspective shift. <laughs> Are you hearing that noise? They make a noise like a Pokemon cry, which is actually somewhat impressive, because... Oh, interesting, so if you jump stationary, then you get to do the Ryu Hurricane Kick. But anyway, they're making Pokemon noises, which is impressive because this is still probably like 10 years before Pokemon came out. Oh. Oh, never mind. It's just a regular guy. Okay, for a second there, it looked like he was actually somewhat combined with his snake. Maybe he's supposed to be like a snake charmer or something. Maybe he's supposed to be some sort of man-snake hybrid. Maybe they accidentally spawned the sprites on top of each other. Mysteries abound. Mysteries abound. You know, the beach is actually kind of beautiful. I mean, granted in a we-can-only-use-five-colors sort of way, but... There's just that sort of certain elegance you get with uh, old-school 8-bit sprite-based things where, I mean, you have to draw something. You have to abstract it enough for it to fit within the memory limitations, but you have to make it like concrete enough that a person can look at it and actually know what it is. Uh, well, the guy in the lower right-hand corner's life bar just suddenly refilled, and then this guy showed up on screen. Oh, it is him! Okay. So I don't know who those people were in the ships who went away, but we'll beat up this guy in penance, sure. <laughs> he just, he just jump, jumps and kicks at you, has a gun. This guy is holding nothing back. <laughs> I love I love the implication. It's like he just goes out and gets some like food with this guy. It's like, what the heck? All right, whatever. In for a penny, in for a pound. Re recently, it's come to my attention that there is still smugglers. Get them. Oh, no. Not Ki-Chan's house. What a guy doesn't even tell us how to... Oh, 
I guess the martial artist got tired and went home. Come on, flower lady, you, you helped me at least at one point in time in the past. And now I can't talk to you at all. Well, at least the people at the tea house like me. Well, the one guy does, the other guy wishes I was dead. And there's always the British Embassy we can visit. Oh, they are just not there anymore. Welcome to, uh... Huh. And, and not even the guys at the market. Well, welcome to Scavenger Hunt Level 3. Oh wow, our old favorite hunt, the British Embassy. You can't even go there anymore. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but the drug dealer this time is a guy in the lower, lower right-hand corner. He kind of looks... Kind of looks vaguely French, maybe Dutch. So that's that's kind of interesting. Yeah. So not even the uh, hidden entrance girl is gonna help us this time. We are really on our own. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I was gonna go talk back to the main guy. Go back to the main guy and ask him what's what. But uh. I guess I just had to go north, at a place, well... Something tells me I'm supposed to be here, but I'm not supposed to be here at this point in time. So evidently those programmers, they may not have learned a lot of programming, but they certainly learned about event triggers. Okay, so it's come to that point where, once again, I, I'm defeated. I had a few, few brief glimpsing notions of being able to beat this game. I mean, we made it to Act 3, Level 3. That's further than we usually make it in any other game. But unfortunately, Scavenger Hunt the game is just, it's too much. They don't tell you anything. They don't tell you where to go. They don't tell you how to find anything. They're just like, hey, it's the world of no smoking. Go make people stop smoking. And it's like, how, how can I make them stop smoking if I don't know where they are? And they're just like, hey, I heard, if you go to the marketplace, they'll tell you where to go. Or, go east. Great. Well, anyway, that was no smoking. It was a surprisingly good RPG coming from the student thing. Now, I kind of wonder if Pack and Snacks Dave has been translating these chronologically. And so this game would sort of represent the culmination of their work. And actually, he hasn't posted any of them recently, so maybe this was, in fact, the last one. If so, then... If it all led up to this, well, not bad, not bad, not necessarily great, but not, not bad. This is pretty good for a student work. It is kind of weird to, to think that we just kind of happened on to like the handiwork of some, some students so long ago. I don't know, maybe one of them will see this and they'll be like, whoa, this guy sucks playing video games. Somehow I doubt it, but you never know, you never know. And that's the magic of Ashkabat Cat. That's the magic of now in English. That's the magic of no smoking. And on that note, this cat's got a scat.